All right, five reasons not to become a data analyst. And if you stick around till the end, I might be fired up enough to give you a bonus one. All right, number one, timelines. If you cannot work on timelines, you might not want to become a data analyst. Oftentimes, working as a data analyst, I'm working on stuff that I would normally be working on. I have ongoing projects that last a long period of time. However, sometimes during the middle of those, a request comes in that is urgent and needs done as soon as possible. Oftentimes, data analysts will be called by their managers or their directors and say, hey, I need this like this week. Can you do that for me? But at that time, you'll come and kind of estimate how long that's going to take and what additional information you're going to need. And usually this ends up becoming one or two weeks for this specific project you're going to be working on. But either way, you're going to have a timeline. And sure, one or two weeks sounds like a lot of time. But sometimes working as a data analyst, especially if you're working with data that you aren't super familiar with, is actually not that long because you have to spend a lot of time looking at the data, understanding it, reaching out to people to ask questions as who are subject matter experts in it. And you need to actually be able to use the data in context to the question that you're being asked. So anyways, timelines for me always get a little bit stressful, especially when they're close and the stuff that you're working on is just a little bit new to you. But some people thrive on that, so I'll leave that up to you. Number two, communication. And this is one that a lot of people don't think about, but coming in as a data analyst, you have to be able to communicate. The reason being, when you finish and get your results, your manager or your director is going to want you to share this with shareholders. Now, sometimes they'll be doing that. They'll make sure they have all the necessary information. But other times, you're going to have to present it yourself. And even if you don't, you still have to present it to your manager and director in the first place. So this is vitally important and you need to be able to communicate effectively. This includes making clear the point that you need to make and easily explaining the results so that a shareholder or a manager or a director or a CEO can take that information and make a decision based off of it. Number three, if you can't work with ambiguity, you probably should not become a data analyst. Sometimes your work is not always clear cut. Sometimes you don't know what your next steps are, and sometimes you just haven't dealt with this type of problem yet. As a data analyst, this comes up often, and you're going to have to find a way around it. I know this point in itself is a little bit ambiguous, so let me explain a little bit further. As a data analyst, if you're asked to work with a data set or a table or a location that you have not pulled data from before, it's going to be new to you. And sure, you can sit there and whine about it, but oftentimes there's a system set up that you can go find that information, or at least you can meet the people that will give you the right information. More times than not, this is the process that you go through when you're working with new data. You ask around, does anybody work with this? No, no, no. Okay, do you know anybody who's worked with this? Yeah, one person, one of my coworkers knows somebody who worked with it in the past, two years ago. So you reach out to them. Well, they're no longer at the company, so you reach out to their old manager. This is the type of thing you have to go through sometimes just to get that information that you need. And once you get an idea, then usually there's resources that you can use rather than just cold outreaching to people. But sometimes you don't even know where to start. So that's something that comes up quite a bit as a data, data analyst. Oh, and hey, if you're enjoying this and you're thinking about becoming a data analyst, check out the two links in the description. I promise you I'm not going to spam you. I'm not going to scam you. It's just a Discord where other people want to become data analysts and are interested in statistics majors. And then there's a newsletter as well that I send out once in a while. No spam. I just send out some additional information if it's on my mind. So check those out. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy them if you want to become a data analyst. All right, the fourth one is if you don't like coding, you're probably not going to like being a data analyst. Some data analyst positions don't use much coding. They'll maybe use Tableau, they'll maybe use Excel, and that's kind of the extent of it. But a lot of data analyst positions are going to be using R, are going to be using Python. So you have to get comfortable with that, and hopefully you can get comfortable with that before you even start your job. Because if it's brand new to you as a data analyst, things could get pretty difficult. All right, number five is if you don't like documentation. And I mean documentation in two ways. First, you need to be able to document your code so other people can read it and understand what's going on. And second, you need to be able to document results similar to before how we talked about communication. You need to be able to write in an effective way that other people can understand what your results mean and what it means for the company. All right, and that one was short, so let me give you a bonus one so you don't freak out. And so the bonus is clean data. You have to be able to clean your data as a data analyst. And every single application you're going to be using, you need clean data. Oftentimes, when you pull it directly from the source, the data is not in the format that you need it for your application that you're working on. So you need to be able to transpose and select and filter and mutate and change and make new variables and join to other tables. You need to do a lot. I've made a video on it in the past, so check it out. 
But honestly, if you want to become a data analyst, you need to watch this video too. See you there. Also, coffee jug.